In January 2018, nine conservationists were arrested in Iran. One died under suspicious circumstances shortly after the arrest. Today, the survivors are still in jail, awaiting a verdict in a case that highlights how paranoia about the West is paralyzing science and research in Iran. When Ramin Sayyid Imami posted on his Instagram about his father's death in detention, we had no idea that he had been arrested in the first place. And it soon broke out that they had been in detention for about two weeks. For years, the Persian Wildlife Heritage Foundation had been using camera traps to track Asiatic cheetahs in Iran's deserts and national parks. The environment was considered a safe space for activism and international collaboration, and they'd never had trouble with the government. But a series of misunderstandings and slanderous rumors made their way to the Revolutionary Guard. The Iran Revolutionary Guard is kind of Iran's shadow government. They're extremely powerful. They have a strong military power, and they have their own intelligence unit. The IRGC claimed that the PWHF members have used camera traps for collecting sensitive information and monitoring their ballistic missile activities. Four people are charged with sowing corruption on Earth, which is as vague as it sounds. And it's a charge that can carry from a few years of imprisonment all the way to death penalty. Three people are charged with espionage, and one person is charged with assembly and collusion to act against national security. They went on trial in February. Nilufar Bayani, a 31-year-old Canadian-Iranian conservationist, told the court her confession was obtained under torture. She wasn't at the next hearing. The judge who is in charge of this case is actually, I think, on EU sanctioned list for human rights violation. What we know is that most of the indictment against these people is based on forced confessions. Iran's government has even concluded that the cheetah scientists are innocent. But, like Bayani, the other conservationists have strong ties with the West. And the Revolutionary Guard, which is increasingly paranoid about Iranians abroad, refuses to call off the trial. We can argue that there might have been some sort of misunderstanding because one side is paranoid about how the enemies want to destroy them. And another group, on the other hand, who are in love with the nature, spending days in, in the field with their cameras, waiting for a cheetah to pass. But if it's a misunderstanding born of paranoia, it's having huge consequences. Fewer than 100 Asiatic cheetahs are left. And while their protectors are in prison, other environmentalists live in fear of becoming targets themselves. A lot of Iranian researchers who were collaborating with students and professors inside the country on Iran's environmental and water issues are now paranoid about what might happen to them. You know, these guys have been in jail since January 2018, and now the protectors of some endangered species are endangered themselves, and we're not talking about them. 